Lakwadi has been giving you gifts. Ah, your bathing water is ready. And we learn new ways of doing things. Look at it. You are five figures. You are five I've been watching you ever since your bride price was paid. And even before now. Eh? For over two months now. You have changed, Awero. You have changed. You no longer play and laugh with your mates again. <sighs> when was the last time you went to the village square to play with them? And I'm sure that your father has noticed all these things, but he will not speak a word to me. And uh, if he does, what do you want me to say to him, at least to defend you? Nothing, Yami. You can't say anything. You can't defend me. Nobody can defend me. Nobody can defend you? Why? Defend you from what? Nothing from nothing. You can't defend me because there is nothing to defend. There's nothing wrong with me, Mama. Nothing wrong with you? Then why all these strange behaviors? What happened last night, for example? You told your father and I that you were holding the mirror and then it suddenly fell and broke in your hands. <sighs> Awero, what were you doing with a mirror at the dead of night? You were speaking strangely and inviting evil spirits to come into your dreams to destroy you and only two weeks to your wedding. I'm sorry, Yami. I won't do that again. And last night again, when I brought you into my room to sleep after the mirror broke, you were talking and you were weeping in your sleep. I talked in my sleep? Yes. And you were saying something like, uh, um, I didn't do it. I didn't help you to do it. I didn't do it. What does that mean? Nothing. Nothing in Yami. It was just a dream. And I can't remember it. 
Um, but is it that uh, you are afraid of the coming wedding and of the new people you are going to live with? Are you afraid of your husband? Maybe. Maybe I'm afraid of him. Of the wedding night. Aweru, have no fear of Odejemi. Have no fear of the wedding night. You know what I mean? Hmm? Odejimi will be very good and gentle with you. You know he was once married. You know that, of course. <sighs> Stop saying him and look happy. Look. This, I, I, honestly, I was going to show you next week. Hmm? But now look, these are your wedding things. All ready. Have you seen any girl in this Orita using Sonia for her wedding? This is your Sonia from Isei. Look. This is your Sonia. And these are your Inyo. Look at them. Look at them. And your father has ordered special lali for Moshu and Oyo. We want it to be the biggest wedding ever in this Orita. Even bigger than when your sisters, Molara and Adidara, got married. Aguero, look. Thank you, Yami. Mm -mm. Thank yeah. you very much. Yes, I know. There is no need to thank me. Now, stand up. Let me show you how to put on Sonia on your waist, original Sonia on your waist. I greet you all, my fathers. May God grant you all long life. Sit down, sit down and say what you want to say. You all speak, but at least Kabiesi should say something. He should at least say a word. Don't forget, I'm a government worker, and in government, the last word and decision comes from the most high officer. Let Kabiesi say something about this work, please. You want Kabiesi to speak to you? Yes, please. At least, even if he has to repeat what others have said, I don't mind. He should at least say something. What you have just said is big, young woman. Much bigger than your mouth. How can you just open your... Uh, show Peter, please. You um. know she's a woman. She's young and she does not understand anything. Uh, but we may first teach her and later we fight her. Uh, as I was saying, it is not for you to tell us how to start and end a meeting. Everything you heard here has come from the mouth of all of us, put together. You hear that? That is how we do things here. You said you people in the city and the government, even with government, mm -hmm. the government will never see except when your tax collectors come here to grab all our money. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee. Sorry. You have been telling us that you and the government have fought it very well. And you have decided that the big and wide road to the future lies in building of schools, churches, mosques. Eh, 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 eh. I've not said anything about churches and schools. I've... Let him finish. I don't know what type of training are they giving you in the city. Just jump into the mouth of elders. And we, and we are telling you that the narrow path we are walking into our future here does not need to pass through your school, your churches, your mosque. Young lady, what are you asking? Or do you want KPSC to tell you that we are wrong and you are right? Understand us very well, young man. We are not saying Orita village does not want a school. We do, but nobody will come and force it down to our throat. 
It is not for you and your government to tell us when and where to build the school. We choose if we want the school tomorrow or five years from now. Uh -huh. And it is for us to decide where the school will be, whether in the outskirts of the village or right on top of our KBC's house here. And if you government people think that like Orile Leri, Orita people will pay a penny as tax to build or run that school, you better think again. Are you okay, young woman? Or you still want your father to say something? college <laughs> Katule manka ta le se. Ask me. What is this? This thing you are doing? That is true. <laughs> I've wanted to ask the same question. Hey, is it a dance? A city people's dance? <laughs> it is called exercise. Do you know if you really do it well, it can actually help you to dance better. That is the kind of dance that uh, you want to break your neck in preparing for. <laughs> Here in the village, you don't prepare. We just dance. Bandika etiquette. Aru, aru, shuha shake. Show your little mother how to dance etiquette. Hmm? Etiquette, 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 etiquette. Bandika, bandika, bandika. Aru, aru, aru. Etiquette, etiquette, etiquette. Kekati, 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 kekati. Thank you. <laughs> so you like it? It's very <laughs> Thank nice. Thank you. Do you know nobody dances this well again in the city? Ah, then you have to wait till next two weeks when we will be having a wedding ceremony. Yeah, you will see master dancers all from the villages in Eleni. Well, you know I have to go back to the city very quickly. Most especially when your elders don't want my work here in the village. Uh, the elders have not decided. Let's just wait and see. Hmm? You go and bring the new mat and the plates. <laughs> yeah. Ashake! This child has killed me. Eh? Those were my best uh, china plates. Ashake! Awaru, where is your mother? She went to see Yala Bokpa at a cassava farm. She said she will see us at home. Father, can you help me with Aunt Il. It's an Aunt Il. Yes. But our ancestors have another name for it. They call it the house built by hard work. The house built by hard work. Yes. Do you know how many ants built it? 
Can you count how many ants live inside this house and keep building it higher? There are many. There are many. Very good. But there are one. One. That is the way it should be between you and your husband. Work with him. Hard work, Aweru. Do the hard work that is necessary so that both of you can build a good house, raise good children. When you become one with Odejimi, let him know that though your own ancestors did not kill lions and elephants like Hayes, but you come from the house of Anna, where the stomach is fed with the sweat of your brows. I hear you, Thank you. Now, let's go. I live here with uh, Lawubu and our parents. Okay. Uh, the house I live in uh, belongs to my husband. Mm. He died after Shake was born. And you never got married again? To who? <laughs> my husband's two younger brothers who could have married me left the village long time ago. Even they left before I got married to my husband. One left for a shame, the other one left for Bumosho. And they never heard anything about them. Ooh, now marry me. Nobody, but that's not what I'm saying. If the elders cannot get a free land to give to the government to build a school, we can talk to them. I'm sure now we will be glad that he want to give the house to the government. Yeah. But why would your brother give the land that belongs to him to something that will benefit everybody in the village? Anyway, maybe because he has seen what school has done to boys and girls in the city. Because your brother was actually the one that came to our office to beg the government to come and build a school in his village. Mm -hmm. And he knows by the time the boys and girls get out of school, they'll get good jobs in offices and earn good money and live well. Yes, like his son Dauda. Dauda. Dauda does not live well in the city. Your brother is always shedding tears any time he talks about him. He said the boy ran away from home and he has not seen him for about three years now. Three years? Yes. Uh, listen, are you joking about all this? Joke about what? Dauda. Dauda was always coming to the village every three weeks in the last six months. Yes, he was coming with gifts of money and messages from his father. He said they lived together at the Lekwa area of the city. Dauda must be telling fat lies then. Because your brother said he does not live in the Ilek rural area of the city when he came to our office. He said he lives at um, OJ area of the city and he lives with his wife. His wife? Yes. All this is strange news. Dauda uh, ran away from home. Lawubu has a wife. Is that not Dauda's mother? No. Dauda's mother died from snake bites when he was 12 years old. Hey, yeah. I'm sorry, I thought you knew all about this. All is well. We're already getting late for the market. Things are cheaper here than the city. It is a mess. Look. See, see, that girl, what's her name? That girl that is getting married, that is from Morita. Yes, Awero. See her there in the clothes and shoes shop. That's Awero. This is her last day in the market. Oh, yes. The next six months, she won't be around. Yes, after her wedding. She will now God just need rest and with drummers to come and thank everybody here in the market. Oh yes, and you will see that by that time, all these women say they will come and give her the gift of the money and food. Really? Oh, and you will tell me that all the new brides in the city don't do what you say. Well, I don't know about here in the village because I've not lived here for too long. But in the city, 
the new husband and wife will go out for one week after their marriage and come back to work. Please have pity on me. My own palm wine is fresh. We sit from our farm this morning. I didn't even add water to it. Please, my husband. I am not your husband. And I'm telling you, this palm wine is spoiled. It stinks. And it's not good for human beings to drink. We are taking all your carriages to government office as exhibit. What are you waiting for? Please have pity on me. I've not come to the market for two months. My children have been sick. Please, beg them for me, please. A job. Stop! Do your work. Do your work. No, 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 no. Commodity inspectors. So they have come here to disturb you people too. Yes. Sir. Are they not your government people? Especially this one. His name is Obente. Anytime he comes around with his people, everybody is in trouble. And he will not leave until his glory is full. Uh, hmm. Maybe his glory will not be full today. Come, let's go. Uh, Abigail, I said come. Please go. Let's see the palm wine. And who said that? I did. I said, let's all see the palm wine. The stinking palm wine you want to see. Who are you? Who are you to stop government workers from doing their job? I am a government worker like yourself. Level 5, Department of Education. And so what? What if you are level 50? Is that why? Is that why you are a woman? Yes, I am a woman. Have I said I'm a man? Or do I look like a goat with two heads? Look here, Mrs. Level 5. You can't stop us. We are taking this woman with her stinking guts of Panwine to Ibadan. She's trying to poison the people. Even without looking, I can count at least 40 dead fights inside that cave. Yes. Then get the guts of palm wine. Let us all see. Let's count the dead flies in it. That is how government workers should work. Let the people know what you do and why you do it. Okay, <laughs> What do you want to do with my name? Is my name in the dead flies in the palm wine? Okay, we shall see. You will meet us in Ibadan. Let's go. Yeah, this woman is trouble. <laughs> <laughs> 